Now, I'd like to know, you say you draw cartoons. Is that would, <clears throat> how do you convey emotion uh, 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 through, through your drawings? What, what do you, especially for fish, uh, as opposed to like uh, humans that can do this. And uh, <coughs> that, can, that comes across, well, first of all, it's set up in the story and the writing and then the voices, of course, but the animation sells that. I, I have uh, less to do with that, uh -huh. really. But in terms of production design, supporting the, the, the through lighting and color and mood, yes, that's that's one of the things I do. One of the things we do, uh, for example, is um, the, the, the you know, you, did you see the film? Yes, I so, did. So you know, there's all that murder at the beginning, mm -hmm. and then you get to the father and son, and he's so overprotective because he's so afraid of the past, he can't think of the future, so he's kind of just. We use uh, these plate coral and tabletop corals. They're very horizontal and it's very oppressive shapes and we were using that a lot and then, then they travel out to the bus stop area and it's very inviting and round and warm and then they take off and it's a lot of verticals and then you get to the drop off where he gets kidnapped you know and it's just nothing for 45 minutes mm -hmm. blue water you know so we try and use those elements to kind of support the characters and the emotions of the of the characters you know and could you tell me as a whole the process <coughs> that the team work that's involved in creating something like this? How do we? How does it like go from concept to what what I saw yesterday? Yeah. 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 Zoinks? Yeah. <laughs> that's a heavy duty question. Um, it, the, it's like the this. Well, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm not sure where to go with this. You want to start? I'll jump in here. It's a culture. Of, well, it's a, it's like any film. It's a team effort, really. But unlike a lot of uh, of, of live action things I, that I've been around and worked on. Um, it's 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 the pyramid is it, there's it's less of a pyramid structure, and live you know it's much more everyone is contributing on an equal level. Mm -hmm. It's just it's different. Part of that become is because it, it's just so complex to do, and it's uh, another big part of it is it takes so long to actually make the film, and uh, and you see these people every day, and uh, and at Pixar anyway, it's very much a family atmosphere. If they'll take a great idea from anywhere, you know. So that that teamwork is it's it, that makes it fun, you know. I mean, in the practical sense of it, you have to divide up that many people though into some, into some way. You can't let two hundred people all go to one meeting. You can't fit in the room. You know what I mean? Um, so in this film, we chose to actually chunk that up and cut cut that pie. I guess you could say. Um, Sending a group over here to work on the reef, and a group in here to work on open ocean, a group on here to work in the dentist office and tank footage, and a group over here to work on characters, characters, and a group over here to work on uh, Sydney and the shark scenes, and a group to work on all the fish schooling and crowds and stuff, that kind of stuff. So they were responsible for that through the whole movie. Yeah, and that was an interesting choice for Pixar to do that in the sense that it was not how we'd done films before, but because the, they, we felt that the challenges, the different kinds of footage presented, were so different from like a reef to. Just open office. water, yeah, <laughs> and water where you're just looking at blue void. Um, those groups developed certain expertise that were able to be used across the film's production time to make all like the re footage over here. And um, I hope you see the results in frame because I think that that stuff is all those groups have come out like pretty nicely. And, yeah. and I, I don't think that one scheme would have worked for all four of those things because doing work in a dentist's office, which is an interior set with walls plus mm -hmm. water in the middle, versus a blue void with jellyfish, yeah. this is so different. It totally, it's not, yeah, it's just like different movies in a sense of how you make that kind of footage yeah. happen. Uh, but so now I'm, I'm wondering when you when you're you know creating your environment, you say, what do you what do you use as a reference? What what, what kind of research do you go about? Doing? Well, we all took scuba lessons. Um, we looked at lots of documentaries. One of the things that Andrew said early on was 99.9.5 percent of the entire world has not been underwater, or but the, but they're what they know of underwater is Jacques Cousteau, Blue Planet, you know documentaries, right? Discovery Channel. Yep, that's mm -hmm. our point of reference. That's our audience's point of reference. So uh, going scuba diving and watching a documentary uh, learned a lot. You know? And going then up in Kona for half a week to go yep. diving together in Hawaii. Yep. Aloha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Plus we had a guy named Adam Summers, Dr. Adam Summers, um, who we call our fabulous fish guy. And he was just a research scientist. He literally does swim with sharks <laughs> three months out of the year, every year. Uh, and and he, talk about a fish geek. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. And he was so... <laughs> Enthusiastic and so excited, ah, and he was here at the premiere yesterday. You know, this is great. Now, I just real quick, if you do, you, how much is the environment that we see is a heightened environment compared to what we've seen in documentaries when you when you're making your, your all of it, oh. all of it, every every bit of it. You know, um, 
Although it's often like not amplified, it's reduced in a sense. I mean, right? Yeah, it's reduced. Is exactly. It. I mean, we open up with a big splash, you know, with the, the reef and everything. Mm -hmm. But good, you know, after that, forty minutes or so, it's blue water. That's mm -hmm. about it. <clears throat> and it's it was um, it was just it was never a question that we had to do that. It was it's, they're in the middle of the ocean, <laughs> but you know that th that presented its own set of challenges. You know, the surge and swell of the water, and getting the timing right, and have the characters move at the surge and swell, deliver dialogue. Mm -hmm. You know, act. You know, <laughs> uh, and and for all of that to be there, be believable, be heightened. You know, and not get in the way of telling the story was challenging. 